In this video, we will learn to manage who can create groups in Microsoft Teams. So if you want only assigned users to create teams, please follow the following steps. The step number one is first you have to log in by your admin portal. Next is create a security group for users who need to create Microsoft 365 groups and you have to name that group as security. I repeat you have to name that group as security. Next, next step is basically you need to in the admin center you need to go to groups. So let's check in Google Chrome. You need to go and click on groups. Here is a group. When you click on group what, what is the next thing you have to do is you have to add a group. After that uh, this window will appear. Please select security here okay and click next then you can uh, name that group as security s e c u r i t y security and you can enter the description as per your uh, need and then press next after that uh, this window will come review it and then create group Okay, when you click on uh, create group, your group will be created. The next thing you have to do is you have to end, add users in that group. So in case if we are creating this group just to give uh, team rights, uh, creating team rights to teachers, uh, what we will do is we can add teachers or we can add our faculty in that particular group. So what is the next thing we have to do is we have to click on users, click on active users. And here now we have to search or uh, set a filter for our faculty members. Click on filter, add new filter, uh, name this filter as faculty and then we will filter it as according to the license. So I will filter them as per the uh, Microsoft license. So faculty member are use assigned Microsoft 365 A1 for faculty. So I will click on this and I will add that. Okay. So it's, since I already created the this filter, so they they are showing that the view of this name already exists. Next thing what I will do is I will go to go to this filter again. I will click on this faculty no. filter. I will click on this faculty filter. And all the users with this license will appear in front of me. So by default, all the teachers, we, we have assigned this license only to teachers. So we will not get any student here. So what I will do is I will select all the teachers by clicking here. And then I will uh, add all my teachers. So there's, So I will add all my teachers in one group. So what I can do is I will click on manage group here. I will search for that security group and I, I will add all my teachers in that group. Okay. So in the second part, what we have to do is we have to run few commands in PowerShell. So please open your PowerShell. In PowerShell, the first thing you have to do is you have to run set execution policy unrestricted. And then you have to run install hyphen module azure ad preview next thing you have to do is you have to copy this script provided in the description box into a text editor such as notepad replace security group name with a name of security group that you created for example group name is group creators save the file as group creators dot ps1 in powershell window navigate the location where you saved the file type cd run the script by typing uh, the group name and next is sign in with your administrator account when prompted
the last line of the script will display the updated settings and uh, in future if you want to change which security group is used you can rerun the script with the name of the new security group in case you want to turn off the group creation restriction and again allow all users to create group set group name to allow group creation to true and rerun okay so that means you have to write here true and you have to rerun the script so now to verify that our setting works or not what we have to do is we have to log in from any student's account or by admin panel we can create one new student id and we have to log in by using that id and then you have to click on this teams after that what we have to do is we have to click here to and we will see that the option to create team is not available now that means by applying that setting we have eliminated that option from our screen so now student will not able to create new teams in microsoft teams